Earlier this year, 19 News told you about apartments where the ceiling in multiple units had fallen in. We showed you the images. Since then, we've heard from several more people who live there and their councilmen about the issue. And as city officials work on a fix, so are we. Now at 319 News reporter Colton Molesky with our continued coverage. Well, it's been a few weeks since we talked about Park Place Apartments, where we told you several residents had their ceilings collapse in while they were at their apartment. But we're not giving up on that story, and neither is the councilman in the area. Why did they uh, pass their inspection when Park, Park Place looked the way it looks? It's a slow climb to progress and one that includes asking the right questions along the way. Deal with vermins and, and uh, mold growing in, in, their, uh, in their units. And how did they pass? At the beginning of the year, we told you about someone living at Park Place Apartments who was forced to hotel hop after a ceiling collapse. Since that story, Councilman Kevin Conwell and 19 News have gone back and talked with several families, hearing more about the conditions and other collapses. I met him at the uh, HUD headquarters, the national headquarters in Washington, D.C. Mm. While improvements have been made at Park Place, people living there say they are still dealing with ceilings that have fallen in, pests, and mold. Conwell wants to know how it passed inspection to let things get this bad. We just have to monitor and control to make sure that they execute on, on um, having people living in better conditions. I reached out to HUD with questions about the inspections and was told they would connect me with someone handling the region. I also reached out to FPI management and am awaiting a response. Councilman Conwell says that he is stopping by later this week at Park Place Apartment and is going to talk with HUD later this week as well. In Cleveland, Colt Molesky, 19 News.